Hi everyone, welcome to another video today. Um, thanks for coming back to the channel. For something else I want to share that I'm doing a wee small upgrade to the boat. Um, it's maybe not something that a lot of people have thought about. Um, different aspects to it again that I'm going to speak about in a minute, but getting in there, it's a, an hour meter for my main engine and for my backup engine or trolling motor, trolling engine. So Something that probably not a lot of people think about, or maybe they do, maybe it's just me, I don't know, but um, the Mercury that I've got is a 2012, and you can buy all the sensors and the wiring harness for it to tie in with the Lorenz fish finder that I use, but it's at a great expense and I don't really see a major benefit for me at the moment about it, but what I would like to do is know the hours on my engine. Um, I can take it to a dealer or a local marine um, outlet and get them to plug in with the Mercury software and tell me how many hours are on the engine which is totally fine, I know how many hours are on the engine but what I would like is for service intervals um, if there's any issues you can see you know how many hours in you were when it happened or mainly for tracing the maintenance so I know that in 50 or 100 hours time my engine is ready for a service and I think for the small price for these hour meters it's well worth it so this straightforward hour meter it was £7.40 for Amazon um, it's got a built-in battery, it's not It's not going to last you forever, it's, it's, that is not the purpose of this. This is one where it, it's got a stick back or a screw back and it goes onto the side of your engine. It's got a cable that you wrap around the spark plug lead and cable tie off and it slots into the back of it. It takes it purely off the spark, um, of the momentum of the spark. It, you don't have to bridge into any wiring, you can take it off at any time, it doesn't have any restrictions or it doesn't interfere with anything that's happening in the EFI system at all. The other benefit of this is um, the 5 horsepower drone motor that I'm using, um, that's no EFI, it's completely carved, there's hardly, well there's actually no electronics on it at all, everything's manual. This works in exactly the same way, around the single spark plug cable counts the hours that you're running your engine. And like I say, it's just for me personally, so I know in 50 or 100 hours time or whenever I want to service my engine, but that's how many hours I've done. It can also benefit you if you're going out on a new water or at the start of the day and you want to know how long you've been running your engine. Um, yeah, there's multiple ways you can do it. You can just take the time on your watch, but it's another thing. If you check it at the start of the day, you know how many hours you're putting on your engine each time you go out. So yeah, very simple to install. I've used them previously, um, actually on motorbikes. Um, you can use it on anything that has a spark plug cable on it. Um, won't work on diesels, that's a totally different thing, but anything that's uh, petrol or gas, um, that has a spark ignition, you can count it no problem. So, like I say, very easy to install. One of the biggest benefits is you're not bridging into any um, wiring harnesses or anything to do with the ECU or the EFI system. Um, so that's a big benefit for me, anyway. You can get more expensive um, hardwired units that will give you a lot more details and um, can segregate time zones and stuff, but they're hardwired and they're in through the, the wiring limits. Not something I want to muck about with on my engine. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to fit it, it's very simple and I'll show you it on it. So this is the kit itself, like I say, £7.40 delivered from Amazon, won't break the bank. Comes with the unit itself, uh, no battery required, it is marine grade, so it's fully waterproof and it's fine to be inside this engine. And then this is the cable that it comes with, so we'll go ahead and open it up. I'm not going to screw mount mine, I'm just going to use a a bit of double sided tape on the back and this is the channel here where this wire goes to give you the connection so we'll go ahead and open it up so this is my engine here and installation wise I'm just going for this spark plug cable right here so when we take the cable that comes with it comes with this little wire clip to keep it all bound together. Keep that, there's a tip that I'll show you just now. So, what you want to do is take the wire that comes with the kit, pull a good bit through it, wrap it round, I need to go four or five times just so it's like that bring it out to a loop. Now what I like to do is just pull the wires together, put a small tie down the loop knot on it, and then the piece of wire that came in the kit earlier, 
wrap it back around that twice. There's a bit of fidgety. Just like that. And then grab that and twist it down. And that's all we need to keep this secure. So try and focus the camera. That's all we should end up with. So all I'm going to do now is take the wire off the spark plug cable, run it up beside the existing wire harness using these small cable ties. Under the harness, so it's tied it. As easy as it looks. Put a couple of these on just to keep it secure. Take those tag ends off because I'm a bit picky like that. So, I'll oh, adjust the camera here. So, what I'm actually going to do is position the meter on top of the engine up here. Just because I want it to stay out of the way. Um, it's going to counter sunk down here. Nice flush surface that I've already given it a wipe down just to make sure the bonding will be okay. So, all you want to do is take the cable and put in mine here. So, just roughly size that up. Going that way. So just make sure it's right down to the bottom there. You can trim any excess. Just like that. What I'm going to do is, like I mentioned earlier, it does come with the screws in the pack. Um, if you want to screw it to anything, I personally don't. You would need to make some sort of bracket um, to make sure that your fixing was safe and secure like that. All I'm going to use is a bit of this um, marine gum. It's, it is a setting or it is a bonding agent but it's um, strong but removable. It doesn't last forever so just get a quick rub up only using the tiniest wee bit just to do the job with that. All I'm going to do is Make sure it's got a good coating on the bottom. Hold that down for a couple of seconds. That's it, job done. So as quick as that, less than five minutes to complete that. And all I have is some coils running up through the wiring harness, put an excess loop at the top, into the bracket, and then that is it there ready to count some hours so let's start the engine and see if it works so guys by a schoolboy error i should have added on it that it doesn't actually count in seconds or minutes it counts in one tenth of an hour so six minutes you need to run it before it'll clock up and it actually tells you right there so i missed out on that um the boat's in my garage at the moment i'm not going to uh, flush it or run it just now i've got some other work being carried out so the next time I'm out on it, I'll do a quick update on it, but I have checked it, it is getting a signal. You can check it through when the engine's running, it does give you a pulse, so you can confirm that it's working, but it takes six minutes to count up. So yeah, like I said, in under five minutes and for under eight pounds or seven pound fifty, you can have that as a, an additional um, bit of information for your maintenance. Uh, like I say, it's actually advertised on it that it's for oil changes, valve adjustments, spark plug. Obviously we're going to pass the days of gap in spark plugs, but give you an idea if you want to read your plugs and see how your engine's burning fuel. Um, yeah, just a, 
small adjustment that might make life a wee bit easier and give you a wee bit more information. Again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If the video was helpful, let me know. Hit me up on social media like a lot of people do. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see me do in the future. Um, I'm just a normal person like everybody else working on my boat. So if there is anything you'd like to see or anything that we should tackle that is a bit harder, let me know. Um, I appreciate all the likes and comments. Yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Take it easy.